What is up guys, Pocket Crafts here. Today I'm going to teach you how to make a villager breeder for Minecraft Pocket Edition. And this does work on all other versions of Minecraft as well. So first off, we're just going to start off with the materials that you'll need. The top amount and the beds are an exact amount, so things on the bottom are not exact amounts. So you'll need 11 planks, 11 trap doors, a hoe of any kind. You'll need two of any type of workplace block, so it doesn't have to be barrels. But then you will need two composters. You'll need six signs. You'll need a bucket of water, although it would be easier if you have two, but you can do it with one. You'll need eight beds. You'll need some type of crop. I would suggest either carrots or potatoes. You do any kind you want, but carrots or potatoes would be the most effective. And then you don't even need two different types of blocks here. You could theoretically just use dirt for all of it, but I'm using wood and glass as well for cosmetic reasons. You will need dirt, and then you'll need some torches. But with, that's all that you're going to need, so let's get right into the build. So the credit for this design actually goes to Waddles, and so all credit goes to him. For where to build this, you could build it anywhere. However, I would suggest doing it somewhere high up in the air. You could either just come up in the air like this, or I would suggest doing it on the side of a cliff, which is what I did in my survival guide series, which you guys can check out if you want. But what you need to start with is one block in the middle, and then you'll go four blocks out in either direction with dirt. So that block in the middle is where the water is going to go, but we'll do that later. Then what you need to do after you have four blocks out in either direction is fill this all in with dirt. So after you've filled in the whole thing with dirt, you'll pick two sides opposite each other and you need to put two things of, I'm doing wood blocks here. It could be any block of your choice. It could even be dirt again, but you need it like this. And then you'll need this on the other side as well. After you've done that, you're going to want to build a wall around it. And so the wall will need to be at least too high. You can do it higher if you want but two is all that's really necessary. And I misclicked right there, but I'm gonna do it out of glass. For aesthetic purposes, you can do it out of whatever you want, but you're gonna put this all the way around the whole build. So after you've filled in the wall, you'll wanna put your beds in. And so you can put them in anywhere you want, but I think the best place to usually put it is like this right here. So that way your villagers can't get on top of these and then go back onto the farmland and make it not farmland anymore. And so the reason I'm putting eight beds, you'll only put four villagers in here, but villagers to make a baby, all they need is a job. They need to be well fed and they need a bed. And so each villager is tied to one bed. And so they'll be able to breed up to four villagers, but the villagers will be falling down and be traveled far away. So they'll be disconnected from the beds and then they'll be able to breed another villager. After placing your beds, you'll want to place your workstation blocks. And so I usually put them about right here in a little L shape away from the center. It doesn't really, isn't super important where you put it. This is just how I do it. And I like to make it even like this. And so you put them in like this. And then what you're going to want to do, put that one in the wrong spot, is put a block on, on top of the workstation blocks, which for these ones you'll have to crouch so that your villagers can't get on top of these and then trample your farmland. Speaking of that, the next step is going to be to put water down here so we can put in the farmland. And so what you'll need to do to do that is you'll need to come down here, which you can do this later in this build as well, if that's easier for you guys, since you can't fly, but you can do it whenever you want. And you'll put a slab underneath here and you'll break that. And then we can put water there. But before we do that, we'll probably wanna build the chamber for them to fall down. So your baby villagers and all villagers and most mobs in general, actually, they see a open trap door as a walkable block. So what you're going to want to do is put a row of trap doors on either side. You'll have five of them. And these are going to be where your baby villagers will fall down. However, we don't want the normal villagers to come down here. So what we need to do is place a slab on the bottom of that top block there. And then we can get rid of these blocks. And we'll have this cover this area right here because the adult villagers will be too tall to fall down, but the baby villagers will be able to go right down. For the next step, you want to put water right here and then put a trap door on top of it so that your villagers don't get stuck in there and then trample your farmland. And then you're going to want to hoe all of this dirt to make it into farmland. So after you've made this all into farmland, you need to plant your crops. And now you could theoretically only put one or two down because your farmer villagers will, when it grows, they'll continue planting it and fill it out. However, it would take 
much longer for you to actually start getting baby villagers out of here if you do it that way. So I would suggest that you try and fill in the whole thing if you can. Next up, you're gonna wanna light up the entire inside area here so that no mobs can spawn. Now we need to build the collection chamber. And so if you were building this on top of a mountain, you might actually start with the collection chamber first and then build the other part on top of it. But this way I'm gonna start with this first. And so what you're gonna wanna do is build a U-shape out of glass two blocks down, or I guess you could use any other block. I'm using glass, but you could use any building block again. You'll have it be five by nine on each side. However, so we have five right there, and then we'll go nine over here. However, on this side, you're gonna wanna go four blocks and leave one block in the middle, and then four blocks, one block in the middle, and then you'll do this same pattern on the other side as well. Now you need to fill in the floor. So just fill in all the way through. The same pattern here, pretty much as we did over here, you'll wanna do four this way, but then leave a space in the middle. Once you finish the floor, at this point, you're gonna to wanna to pick which side you want the villagers to come out of. So I'll say if I want them to shoot out this way, I'll go over to this side and you can fill in this part again with glass actually. And then we need to go here and we're gonna build a floor here as well, but we need it to be one block lower. So build it out like this and have it jut out one block. Next up, you're gonna to wanna to grab your signs and start at this block right here. And you're gonna to need to place all six of them just like this, and you'll get it to right here. So that way the water streams from the sides don't come down there. They need to make a water stream, and make a water source block on every single one of those, and do the exact same thing on this side. And then you need one more water block, and you're gonna do it right here. And so this is where your villagers are gonna shoot out after you've made it. And I made this little thing right here. I started to, then didn't finish it, and I just wanted to explain to you guys a way that I think is the best way to do this, right? So theoretically you could have, if you build this on the ground, you'll have to find some way to transport them, right? And this is why I don't suggest building it on the ground because it'd be a lot more difficult to transport them. If you do it in the air like this or on the side of a cliff, what you could do is every seven blocks, you go seven blocks and then you go one down like this and then just do seven more blocks and you'll need side rails like this to keep it from going out obviously and you'll need it higher so villagers don't pop out but you do it like this and then you can lead to a containment chamber 80 to 100 blocks away because villagers they need to be moved 80 to 100 blocks away to disengage from the beds up here right because if they're still connected to these beds no more villagers will be bred so you need to move them 80 to 100 blocks away and if you're in the air it could be you know 40 blocks down 60 blocks over whatever but you need to be at least 100 blocks away, I would suggest. And I think the easiest way to do it is like this. I'll then all you need is one water bucket. And you just go seven over, then down, seven over, then down. And keep going all the way. And you can move it as far away as you want. So the next step, assuming you've built this out 100 blocks and led it to a containment chamber somewhere where you'll hold the villagers when they're done. What you want to do next is bring in your villagers, right? So I'll just spawn them, and there's actually a baby one there, so you can show that he will walk down. But you spawn in four villagers, right? And then what you're gonna wanna do as well is put a lid on this. Not a lid, excuse me. You're gonna need to put a roof on it. So technically, you don't need a roof if you don't want one, but you'll want a roof, I would suggest, because if lightning comes and hits one of your villagers, which is rare, but it can happen, they'll turn into a witch, and there'll be no way to get them back, and it'll kind of mess up your breeder for a while. So I would suggest putting a roof on the thing. But how do you get villagers in here, especially if it's up on the side of a mountain? It can be a little bit difficult, right? And so I would suggest doing rails. And so I'll go and find some other villagers and show you guys how to do that really quickly. So the way you're going to want to get a villager to your actual breeder is you want to go up and go to a village, trap one of them in a boat, and then you're going to build what I just built over here, right? So two holes, two by two each. And this one right here, you'll want one and then some rails going up. And in this one, you'll put water in the corner and have it pushing them over to here. Then you need to trap the villager in the boat. And then you need to get them over to the one with the water, right? So once you get them to the one with the water, you'll have to break the boat as well as get out of there yourself. Right? And so then they'll be bouncing up here and there's this weird trick in Minecraft 
where if they're in the corner like this and you put a mine cart right here, it'll pick them up. Then you can just nudge it and I forgot I'm flying, my bad. And then you could make this rail go all the way to the villager breeder. But that's it. If you guys have any questions, please comment down below. If you learned something, if this video helped you, please leave a like because it'll help me out and help more people to see this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.